Well, would you look at that? Clear sunny skies everywhere, but I've still got the the thingy buff on the sandstorm. Hello guys, I am back in the world of Ox Survival Ascended. Scorched Earth. <laughs> right then, so yesterday, right. So yesterday my plan was to do my tan. Uh, we'll have a little overview in a bit anyway. But I sort of kind of got sidetracked uh, because I wanted to craft, well basically, one of these. One of these. Oh, the mighty chainsaw. Uh, these are so good at gathering like all the materials and things and that in, in some cases better than some dinos um, Obviously, this is a bit a bit bad because I've been using it uh, Yeah, so I went out to get oil and I found this guy. So I've called him Derek uh, It was uh, suggested to me as well, but it was an awesome like awesome coincidence uh, Because I got an oil Derek from a drop uh, and I went out yesterday and I plonked it down. I then found this guy. It was like a max level um, Filer now they, They're kind of broken at the minute <laughs> it, it, I don't know what it doesn't it just jumps up. It's like as if it's an invisible wall. So Hopefully they're gonna fix it uh, But normally these are these are the best kind of grand mounts, especially on terrain like this where you've got to go up and over and round and stuff uh, so he's gonna get us about the desert pretty quick Anyway, so I am back to town building now. So, um, I have built myself a Fabricator obviously because I made a chainsaw uh, and uh, a wind Generator for power that is over there and I will say like I'm sure like like the range on this is is huge It's huge uh, show range Right, holy crap. We are going to need to get on an RG to have a little float around. Right, stop running, Jim. Damn it. Oh, it's like water's going to go down pretty quick. Never mind. We have provisions. Yeah, so I opened this up. This is this is going to be sort of temporary because I, like, I need a crafting station. Uh, right, unfollow me. I've had that sausage following me about because he's like, he's like the weight mule, if you like. Uh, I've packed beetroot away uh, because I need to go down to the desert to get some more organic polymer. Uh, well, for one, I need to repair the, the chainsaw. Well, not quite yet, but I, I'm going to need to. Uh, and I need to build some more electronics. But if you can see, this is my tan. I will have a little overview. Uh, so I've put like bases down as a, as a template, what I'm going to do, what places I'm going to make um, and what functions they're going to do. Right, so this is my town-ish. It's, it's a pioneer town. It's just getting established. Uh, so we have got, like, foundations down. Some go, like, into the ground, and some just get... It's just out of the terrain, is, and they hang up there. Anyway, let's go over here. So this is going to be, like, the entrance. Uh, these won't be here. I just put them there just so I could get a sense of, like, width so i've like i've blocked them blocks down there just to just to count how many <laughs> how many blocks i need for a width and then once i start building that it goes like up here as well oh man it's getting dark i hate doing this when it's dark um right so i might give you a little show when it's daytime but for now i am going to go out probably on derek uh, into the desert i've got beetroot in me <laughs> jesus uh, beetroot's on me, should I say. Excuse me coming through. Oh, God, yeah, we can't jump, can we? Stop the jumping, Jim. You can't do it. Uh, I'm going to go out in the desert and get some more, well, levels on this guy, for one. And some organic polymer from the, the mantises. So I'm going to go into the open desert. Uh, I've got my chainsaw. So the remainder of chainsaw power, oh, in fact, I best go lighten the load, aren't I? I best go lighten my load of all the... the the garbage I've got in me. So I'm probably gonna need a tent. We've still got heat stroke. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lighten the load. Um so yeah, so the thatch will go in there. Oh, I need some more I need to be crafting some more Adobe. Um you've got sand, don't you, sausage? Yes. And we can make that, yes. Lovely. 
Right, I should really set up a, a, a bench out here instead of keep going in and out here, but never mind. It's this is Adobe in here. Boom. Uh, oil, get out. Oil, get out. And silk and water jug. Right, craft that. Just keep going. Right, we should really put more in that in there. Yeah, so I've been uh, using the the chainsaw rather than any of these kind of dinos. Just because it, it gathers more. Right, you've got no more stuff in you. Uh, and then we've got this to contend with as well. So this is this has been lovely as storm after storm after storm. It, it's getting it's getting frustrating now because like you can't do anything. So I'm gonna have to go inside and wait for this. Thank you very much. Right guys, so I am gonna lighten the load and then we're gonna go out in the desert and get some more organic polymer, just so we can get some more um electronics crafted i want to craft the uh windmill let's have a look windmill it's in here isn't it it's bobs it's part of the bobs uh thing uh wind yes it's there look right so uh electronic cemented well, well yeah cemented paste I mean, we could do that 100 metal we could actually do that now yeah so that is part of it i have got some electronics in there because i went to the red obby again that is awesome for uh stuff so i've got some of that in there right uh apparently this if you've got a gas generator it reduces the consumption it keeps an area cooler uh what else does it do well pretty much that it basically stops your generator from breaking now, people have said this to me before, but it's like, oh, it's the, the generators don't break anyway. Like, yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. In Scorched Earth, if you had a gas generator, it got damaged over time and you had to repair it. Uh, the only ones that didn't get damaged was the, the windmills. Uh, and during an electrical storm, it would cut out. Now, I am sure that the windmill never cut out in mine I, I can't remember so i can't really say uh but people are saying like well no the generators have really it's just pouring gas in them that's the only reason and, and it's not the uh, the generators actually took damage <laughs> like ticking down uh i think i've still got a single player on scorched earth and i might just pop over there just to just to have a look anyway right uh where was i i want to make a, a windmill right let's chuck that in there uh wind what do we need right wood we need we need some more wood uh metal should I have enough of that i went out and uh, did a load yesterday or did i or did i oh i think i've, I've used it all i've used it all <laughs> damn it jim uh yeah i am gonna have to go out and get some metal uh, I still want some polymer anyway and if I take beetroot out he's uh, like a megatherium it'll get the, the, the bug buff and also we can collect um, chitin and keratin as well oh wait I have got some there I could make some uh, I could make some there I could get some obsidian yes 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 you can let's do that then uh there's obsidian and crystal up there. Right, 23. We'll get them going to start with. Uh, 56 metal. Right, so plans have changed such like. I'm not going out to the desert just yet. Wait. Windmill. Right, metal. I've got enough. <laughs> I've got... Damn it, Jim. What is up with your maths the other day? Uh, somebody put in the comments about uh, the taming the thyla. Uh, apparently they worked it out at two point something four percent uh, and the amount of the the um meat that the thyla had it it, it should have been like 133 percent but it, obviously it's not it's 100 percent um and i think it's it's because it, the, the starvation thing if you starve it uh, and the first bite is the biggest one and then after that it drops down but everybody out there will know You'll know, like, the proper maths of it. I don't know. But that is what it took, trust me. That is all the meat I had. Uh, anyway, wood. Yes. There we go. 
Bob's windmill. Right, put that away. You lie. You, I am going to chop somebody down with this. Um. Well, I need some um, polymer anyway, because this is not going to last long if I keep doing it. I need to have some. I need to have some in hand. Um. Repair requirements. It already requires twenty anyway. So that is uh that is uh, some juice. So if I get some organic polymer and just keep some in store. I know it's gonna spoil. Um right, wind. Here we go. <clears throat> Bob's windmill. Now then I don't know I think I had a look at this. Oh, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. It is a big boy. Right, let's turn that off first because we've got we're gonna have two conflicting areas. I'll turn this off. Uh okay boys, what's going off down here? We'll hide the range. So yeah, so it's it's a rough blueprint at the minute, and I've used thatch, which I'm gonna re, re replace in it. As you can see, this is gonna be a bath ass. I will just, just just hold your beans a minute. Hold your beans. Wait a second. I've got stuff to do. Unplanned stuff to do. Right, uh windmill. Where would be a good place to put this windmill? I'm guessing pretty close to this one. Oh, another storm? Why not? Let's go. Uh uh-huh. Right. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna snap on all the bases, aren't you? No, it would be nice if we could. Oh right, so that is the 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 it's similar to it's similar to that one. Alright, you're gonna snap to that base. I'll tell you what, let's put it there. That looks aesthetically pleasing. Boom. Right, let's uh show range. Okie dokie, now let's have a little overview. So we know that we get electric power. And this is Bob's windmill. And holy crap, that I'd say that's even bigger range. <clears throat> so that will keep everything kind of cooler. And stop damage. I might even just put like a different kind of base on that. Uh yeah, I probably will. <coughs> Repair it or replace it. Can I pick that up? No, because you've placed on there. Yes, of course I can't. Of course I can't. Damn it, Jim. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Fruit. It's so dry. My, uh, let's just have a... Yeah, let's have a... I've got a metal foundation. Let's have something fancy. Let's put one of them down. It could be like a, a little metal thing over a well or something right uh i had that that was a marker for the uh 100 wind wasn't it yes it was right it's, it's auto snapping to everything i'll tell you what let's just plonk it there and uh, let's go again boom right there you go yes lovely right that'll do you can uh, do one. I'll pick this up. I'm probably going to destroy these just to get a little bit of material back. Uh, obviously, it helps with uh, crafting and stuff. Uh, they're fairly cheap. Well, I say fairly cheap, but I mean, when you wear a chainsaw, everything's cheap. <laughs> uh, just the cost of repairing chainsaws getting a bit uh, expensive. Right. Uh, back to me. I need some more metal. Well, I do need metal, actually. But that is that. Right. I'm going out in the desert now. That's it. That's it. So I've got my windmill. I've got my electric. I've got everything calmed down. Uh, I'm going out into the desert. I am going to collect some stuff. Uh, yeah, I've got my dude on me. I'll, yeah, I'll go out on my flyer. Right, see you in a bit. Right, this, this is getting ridiculous. So there's yet another sandstorm. I have literally just come from my base from one sandstorm. <laughs> Oh dear me, straight into another one. Oh man. Right, we're on the edge of the desert. I can't really move. Um God damn it. Is it one of them fake ones as well? It is! It's one of them fake sandstorms. Let me take my helmet off. Well, would you look at that? Clear sunny skies everywhere, but I've still got the the thingy buff on the sandstorm. 
and the noise but everything i can see for miles it's getting ridiculous all right you follow me uh let's get beetroot out now uh, here you go sausage oh 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 no 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 it's only a level 10 oh the curse of the level 10 on this server oh man i have found two 150 max levels completely by accident but you know if i go looking for them level 10 level 10 level 10 absolutely insane um right beetroot pop out sausage okay i'd say we're near a water vein but i think that water vein still broke uh we could do with hmm you are on passive aren't you let's have you on neutral uh let's just there you go just in case you uh-huh right we can't go anywhere anyway we we'll wait for this nonsense to finish uh but i'm gonna go out in the desert i'll swish me some mantises right then so that's over and done with uh i've got a bug here all right derek has just uh had his munch on that so he's got his buff right we got 33 from that let's see how many we get from derek uh well we should really get another bug just for the kind of difference but i am sure that the hey come on sausage get out of there uh oh <laughs> 279 right so derek gets 279 oh left of plura that's quite fiery let's get some uh stuff from that come here we want your bits come here just give me level 20 uh oh 528 never mind 528 to be fair, I think Derek. Derek is going to be the winner here. Derek's the... No, why am I calling him Derek? You're not. He's beetroot. Stop. You're eating it. You savage. <laughs> why am I calling him Derek? Derek's back at base. Derek's way over there. Look. We did... I did want to come out and level him up, actually. Never mind. Right. There's another bug up here. Let's... Right. right let's get... Yeah. Right. Let's get... Right, let's get a chainsaw on you, sausage. Sixty-four. So yeah, so beetroot is a clear winner here. But normally, like, if you get a decent chainsaw, they are better than dino. Excuse me, coming through. Level ten. Why not? All right, come, come to be bug. There you go. Right. Let's see. Uh, Sixty-four. Huh. What does that know about the same? Ooh, organic polymer juice. This is what we want, boys. This is what we want. Right, let's just wreck faces. That's it. Come here, sausage. Level 45. 27. Ooh, hang on. We can only get 27 from uh, Beetroot. I think it's the chainsaw. Gotta be the chainsaw. Oh, it's level 95. Right, stop, sausage. Make sure there's no buzzards in the air. Yeah, right. It's got to be the chainsaw. Chainsaw for the win. Yes, definitely. Right. So everybody, everything else is that. But the chainsaw for the mantises is the win. Because that's what we want. We want the organic polymer. So go, go on, beetroot. Chow down. Get, get, give me your give me, give me precious skin. Give me your precious skin. <laughs> Oh, wait, no. Uh, we didn't collect the oil first. Damn it, Jim. We should do that as well. Right. Uh oh, we've got to be careful. Oh, it's 110 mantis. Holy crap. Oh, beetroot. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. All right, you take care of that sausage. Thirty-seven. Oh. I don't seem right. I don't seem right. All right, give me a. Oh, you're just a water bug. Never mind. Fifty-four. So you probably get about the same, maybe. Uh, beetles, we've got them. 
Why have I still got the heat stroke marker on? Surely it's like it's it's over and done with now. Uh, I don't I don't want to go too deep. I think I've got enough. I have got. Mm, I say enough. Well, I've definitely got enough for a repair, uh, and I have got a buttload of stuff that I can make into. Um, yes, <laughs> but I just need the stone and obsidian, which is not really a problem. All right, you can have. I'll tell you what. Let's have melee damage. You're not really getting that much, are you, sausage? No. We're probably better off pouring uh, weight and health into you. Come on! Get out of there, you savage. Oh, no! It, you, you didn't just a match of him. There, no, there you go. Get rid of them. And they attack their rider. And it's, uh, it's a painful one. Right. So I'm going to get some more kite and I think... Uh, and then I'll just head back to base. Then we need to get some obsidian as well. Right, see in a bit. All right, guys, I am back at base. I have got some more stuff. I've crafted myself a little light so we can see what's going off. It looks uh, kind of awesome. Right, the thing that's not awesome is I have heat stroke, and you can see, like, if I look at the obelisk, uh, you get the wobbly like lighting effect and stuff. Um, but the trouble is, is I'm cold. I am freezing cold, and well, not freezing cold, but I am cold. So that should go down, but there is no indication of what percentage of heat stroke I have. Uh, and it's, what is it? It's one degree? No, I don't know if that's, is, is that broken? I, it's broken, isn't it? It's got to be, because the heat stroke shouldn't be on by now, at all. Uh, and when I was getting heat stroke, I was at a, at a temperature that wasn't really that hot. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to... Relog out and then log back in and see if that fixes it because that, that shouldn't be like that because during the day It's gonna be a lot worse. It's gonna be like you're gonna get heat waves and everything everywhere and it's gonna look awful Right, anyway <laughs> I'm gonna relog see if that'll do it Okay, that fixed it. So everything's back to how it should be Right, um, it's still dark and I don't like recording in dark anyway because everything looks terrible uh, I am going to go over there, get some obsidian and metal. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and then just get a few bits crafted, ready for the day, so we can have a little look around my plan, my, my town plan. Right, see you in a bit. Hi right, guys, so I have been crafting, I've been collecting and crafting. Um, I've still got a long way to go. Um, right, so the town is, uh, well, this is the main street. It's a little bumpy, I know. It's got potholes and everything everywhere. Well, that's what your taxes pay for. Repairs. <laughs> anyway, right, let's have a little look here above. Right, starting with this place. Uh, this is going to be um, the blacksmith. So, eventually, I want to put, like, an industrial forge here. Uh, and like a place like a well not a stable but um, a place where like equus can like rest and stuff so this is going to be like a, a boardwalk all the way down like the main street on both sides so this is going to have ramps and stuff on uh i'll drop some down as well in a bit oh well rain and we're hot awesome uh so yeah so this is the 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 blacksmith uh, next to that is the sheriff, uh, the sheriff's office. So it's not very, not very big, but I think if I can do like a couple of cells, maybe do like one, two, three, four. So like, just in case we need to lock up any bad people, <laughs> I'm sure we'll put that into use. Uh, next to that is a barber because we need to look mighty trim and uh, look at that here. You know what I mean? That needs a barber's attention, that does. Now, I don't know what to do in kinds of, like, interior and stuff like that. Obviously, we don't have... Um, uh, I think it was, like, Eco's mod that did things like that. You know, you could have all little bits and bobs and do stuff. But I'm going to do, like, the best I can. You know, put a little chair in there. But we're having a barber. Uh, then next to that is uh, the bathhouse. Yes, all the dirty pro prospectors 
all need to come and have like a little bath ass um so i have done like that so it's probably going to be like a two-story thing so there's going to be like little private rooms uh and baths uh i'm going to probably going to use troughs as baths i know i know it's it you've got to work with what you've got i don't think there is anything in bobs for that but that would have been awesome uh then moving down as well so this is going to be a boardwalk as well oh my wolf oh crap <laughs> just crap me up then um uh, the saloon yes every town needs a watering hole so this is going to be probably a two-layer thing with uh uh an upstairs as well going all the way around uh with poker tables and chairs and such like in there I mean, this is the the kind of shape. Um, I've seen Syntax did like like a corner one. Um, so I'd like to do something similar. So it's got like a two entrances. So you can come at it from from this side and this side. So this corner is probably going to be like flattened off. So take that off there. Uh, this was put here just because of the road, uh, and I wanted to to know what size everything was right uh, obviously i'm going to need ramps and stuff up as well right moving on to this side of the town Ugh, if we can get up uh guns so this is this is going to be a gun shop um it's going to have like all the like armaments and bits and bobs and stuff in like that like the blacksmith's going to have armor and then this is going to have like weapons like melee weapons guns and things like that as well uh just a little area just just because like every every town's got a gun shop i'm sure uh and then this this kind of big area is provisions now then i'm i'm gonna put like a greenhouse down here uh i've got a couple of beetles uh so i'm gonna put like crops inside of here uh and basically like use uh refrigerators for storages for food uh and such like that but it, obviously it's going to have like a shop front on it. it as much as you can have a shop front on <laughs> uh, again there is a lot to do uh, and a lot to do right so i'm going to start with the sheriff's office uh i have got some adobe stuff right what are we what are we are we hungry damn it jim just eat will you we're not thirsty uh i have crafted some stuff up so i've got 21 of them uh so i'm going to replace um uh, the floor with adobe right so that is going to be there i might do just to make it a little bit cheaper i might do the front bit in wood now we're going to put the um that on there so oh it's going to be expensive right watch his weight make sure we don't uh boom right that wait till that garbage floats away yeah obviously because the adobe you get the better uh cooling effect and stuff when you once you're inside uh, but also we can put uh, which we are going to do with the cosmetics uh the bobs uh the frontier stru structures so we're going to clad this in the structure so some places you got like the sand poking through because we have gone really low with the uh adobe uh in in many places actually so yeah so this is going to be like a little walkway uh i don't know whether to do like uh, a slope over there or anything right let's do the front we'll do like a, a facade uh for the sheriff's office so i need some of them let's put that on there uh oh good no jim you can't take that much uh can we take that much we can we don't need that much anyway let's just transfer half of that in there again once we've done the uh right so that's going to be the doorway uh what kind of doorway shall we have just an maybe maybe one of them tall doorway right yep then that back to walls with that one again it doesn't really matter because we can we can change that uh, right there we go we can change that uh so we'll do it too high and then we'll have 
that on there. Oh wait, that's gone backwards. Pick that up. Is it going to rain again? I can hear the Jabawa chirping. It, well, at least it's two lots of rain. Oh man. But... Yeah, because a lot of the the tans, they they had like a, like a facade at the front, so it it looked square at the front, but then they had like corner roofs behind it. Uh, so we'll have a look. Uh, right, let's get that back down. Uh, no, around there, sausage number two. And flip that round. Oh, no door, door sausage. We want the door. Um. Again, again with the keys. Right, oh, there you go. That one, we're having that one. Turn that round, boom. There you go. And back to walls. Okie dokie. Right, so it's going to have like that front on there. Um, I might put... Uh, oh, can I do some quarter walls? I will do a couple of quarter walls and then do one each side of that up there. No. Um, we need some more adobe and clay. Oh, might have to go out and get some more clay. Uh, sand even. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I've got sand. It's wood I want. My chainsaw's about to break. Right. A little bit of wood over there, I think. Have I got enough? I've got stuff in there for, yeah. Right, Adobe, hold on. Adobe quarter walls. How many can I do? Uh, I need about four. Anyway, oop, just give me a little bit more wood. So I've like ravaged this area. Right, okay. Yeah, we can run about because it's raining. That's the thing, right. Some of that. Uh, chainsaw's nearly broke as well. So we'll, we'll need to get that repaired. Ligety split. Uh, crafting. Walls. Adobe. Quarter. Quarter walls. How many can we do? Wait, what? Still two? Why only two? We've got everything, haven't we? Oh, we would again. <laughs> Damn it, Chippy. You didn't have enough wood. Um, right, yeah, we've got four. It's okay. It's okay, we're going off. So. Uh, quarter walls. Are we going to get up there or do we need a flyer? So if I put that there, there. And then. Oh, get to the. There. There. So it, it kind of looks like that. Uh, and obviously I'm going to clad it. Let's uh, put the bobs cosmetics on we'll do the front i might even do all the fronts first and then do the the kind of interior afterwards uh so it, it can like look nice and stuff like that um so we'll change that to a window that will be a, a window there yeah and then maybe do two windows so there and there is a window so we can look in do the same sort of thing now they need to be wood Obviously, the interior is going to have a uh, wooden thing goes on it as well. So, we'll clad that. There you go. Door frame. Boom. Uh, I need to put a sign on there. Let's... Uh, can I... Uh, jump, please. Boom. <laughs> and... Huh. So, yeah. So, that... That sign, that, that front bit is going to have like a, like a sheriff's office sign on it. Now then, if we... Uh, hmm, let's do the walls. How many walls have we got? Might need to chill my jets on this one a bit. Uh, we need a back entrance as well. Uh, I'll do one straight through. Boom. Now then, I don't think inside needs to be as high as. So let's just do this. No, 
There we go. One, two. What is with the, the plants? Because normally when you put stuff down, the plants sort of disappear. Uh, now the cells, we can do them like little one buys. So, one, two, three. Uh, actually, we'll do that one. We'll do that as a double one. And so we need a, a little a desk thing there, table type thing there. Maybe it like needs to be a bit decent. I don't know. I'm still doing it as I go. <laughs> I normally do these on a live stream because like I, I do change my mind every now and again. I put something down, don't like it, and then change it. Uh, anyway, where was I? I weird. Oh, Adobe. Right, we are running out of Adobe stuff to get. Um, doorway, double doorway. So we'll have that one there and then that one there. Uh, we'll change it to, to, to the cladding. Right, so I need some more Adobe. But this is kind of my thing. Uh, and then the roof is going to be like angled up to the middle. Uh, and then down again. So when you look at it from the front, it, it looks... <coughs> excuse me. Oh, my voice. Uh, it looks kind of flat. Right, anyway. Let me get some more stuff and get a drink as well. Holy crap. Right then. So I've had a bit of a change up. Uh, so I took, like, the top layer off. Um, because, like, these billboards, um, obviously, they need an anchor point. So they need it, like, to go on a ceiling. Uh, and if I put the those boards at the front, it hides that bit. So I think I'm going to do it like like that. It's still going to be okay inside. So there's my ceiling uh, that the uh, billboards are anchored to, uh, and then there's, that is the actual ceiling. So this is if we go back here with this, boom, and right, we ain't got no more sleep. We ain't got no more of those. Um, and then we need to go same again over and then down. Uh, so we need another wall. We need a wall in the middle. Uh, oh, that's a quarter wall. That's the ones I've just took up. So <clears throat> put that there like that. Then we need a corner piece for there and then a corner piece for there. Um, because the front end we'd used. The, the square pieces, but the back end, we, we're going to use, like, normal quarter pieces. Uh, the cells, let's go get over there. And why it's, it's still kind of crazy hot. Uh, doors. Have we got any stuff? In, oh, we've got three more in there. Look, three more in there. Some of that. Uh, we're okay with walls, aren't we? Uh, no, we need to make some. Have we got any wood? Oh, we need to go out and get some more wood. God damn it. All right, so I fixed my chainsaw anyway, because that, that busted. But never mind. Anyway, let's get some more of them on. So we need more of these as well. On. How many do we need? Oh, we only need... What? No, 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 no. That's it. We've grown up for them. So we need two walls, uh, angled walls. Uh, and then... What's that? Three ceilings. Uh, and then the doors. We'll put them... One, two. Oh, we need a door frame. <laughs> Sausage. Let's put a door frame in there. Have we got a... No, we didn't, we didn't pick a wall up, did we? Oh, man. We're thirsty again. Yes, of course we are. Super heat. Oh. Hawk, please. Can you can you just tone down the weather just a tad? So we're not getting, like, consecutive sandstorm or consecutive super heat. That would be lovely. You know what I mean? Give it a smidge time before you start the next event just just a smidge uh, <laughs> I bet everybody's sick of it as well um, I mean don't get me wrong they are great and all but holy crap when you get them like chained together one after the other and then the ones that it actually annihilate you as well um, door frame let's uh, boom there we go and a door boom Oh, we need a front door, don't we? We need that on there. Uh, and then if we go into Bob's... 
What now? Are we hot again? <laughs> right. Uh, let's go back into Bob. Cosmetics. Boom. Uh, uh, uh. Jail doors. Boom. Uh, then... Oh, I've gone past it again. There, that. So if we clad everything in this. Is that, yeah. Boom. All over. Just just keep going all over. <laughs> everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Coat everything. Wait! <laughs> What's oh, we, we unclipped it. Here we go. Right, oh, are we good? Door. Right, inside, yeah. Still need a little tickle in here. <sighs> Cosmetics. Uh, yeah. No. No. No, Jim, no. Not that, the frame. Um... Frame. There you go. The frame and then the door is the jail. Boom. Yeah, so this is gonna be like a like a, a double cell kind of thing. So I'm gonna put like a, a bunk bed and a, and a potty. <laughs> potty. Uh right. Let's get cosmetics back on because we've got some walls. Cosmetics, boom. Uh -huh. Right, are we good? Is everywhere good? Oh, there you go. Uh, and then a couple of door frames. And then that door. So, I might take that glass bit out there. Just because I, th I was going to put like... Well, if we do put them quarter walls in. And use that as like the reception. Now, we... We don't have like a door. That would be nice if we could have like have like a little swinging bit there and use that as a, a door, but we don't. So that is gonna be like the kind of reception bit, if you like. <laughs> I don't know what else to, to do with it. Um Yeah, we need aesthetics on that. Door frame. Um so the interior, I mean, like, once we've done that, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not using the expensive Adobe to to, to cover everything in here. I mean, once we've put the, the holes in the wall and done the ceiling, that will be that. Then I can put all the little nicety bits. And I'm probably going to leave it open uh, just so, like, if the guys come up to have a look, they can have, like, a little nosy on around the town. Oh, wait, we need to do these as well. Right. So I am going to get this jail kind of finished off and put the the bits back in it uh and then we'll come back and have a look what it looks like when it's it's sort of kind of complete right see you in a bit right guys so i have finished my sheriff and uh, jail um what you call it oh that's it it's just, just a jail oh well i say i finished it no i haven't i've just got that to do uh yeah i had a bit of trouble placing that sign i mean it was uh being a pain in the butt i wanted to get it as close as possible but then it was like clipping through and it just ah, it looked horrendous so i had to like take everything out and then sort of kind of drop it in again so i've had to like pull it back right anyway let's just fix that little problem boom right there we go is that everything it is Right, so this is the uh, the the sheriff's office. Uh, I was going to put like a, a thing on there as well, which I will do down there. Once I get a trophy, once we fight an alpha, I'm going to put like a, a little trophy on there. <laughs> that could be a thing, uh, but we haven't fought any yet. Anyway, moving aside. So this is the, the sheriff's office. He's got a little lamp on there. It's his desk and his chair. Uh, this comes in. So these are the cells uh basically you've just got like a little uh, a bed and a, a pot to pee in that's all you get you've been bad uh oh i've got that to put up as well oh man <laughs> uh, have i got it on me or do i put it away uh, i haven't even got it on me 
Uh, anyway, so yeah, a uh, little bit of storage up there. So I'll just put that up there. Uh, we've got lights. Uh, these lamps, do, they do give a little bit of a glow. They look better at night. Again, that's uh, the, another cell, same as the opposite one. Uh, and then this one is a double cell. So like, yeah, partners in crime. Getting there. Uh, and then the back room. Uh, and then there's a table and obviously wanted posters. <laughs> so we've got Axeman. Uh, we've got Syntac, and we've got Evo, all members of the Sausage Party. Right, so if you're not a member of the Sausage Party, please uh, check my description. There is links in there for you to describe, uh, describe, <laughs> subscribe to, uh, including, yes. Uh, so don't forget you can subscribe to me as well if you are enjoying this content. Uh, please subscribe and subscribe to all the other guys as well. Um, yeah, so if you're not familiar with the Sausage Party, we are a group of friends who play together, not just Ark, uh, but we play other kind of party games and survival games. Yes, right then. Anyway, so that is it. This is my jailhouse. Uh, I need to put that back. Damn it, Jim. And there we go. Now we've got a little thing to sit on and we just keep an eye out for any bad people coming along. <laughs> Uh, right there, guys. I think that's going to be it for this one. Uh, so that is the, the sheriff's office done. Uh, and then we've got the barbers and everything else to do. Um, provisions. I'm also going to put like a, like a, like an undertaker. So we can do like a, I may, I may bolt that onto here. So provisions and undertaker as well. So yeah. There we go. So that is my little tan. Uh, the, it's in blueprint stages at the moment. And I'm only doing it a bit at a time because, oh, holy crap, it takes a lot of resources and, uh, well, quite a bit of time, really. Um, so I may do a live stream where I build stuff as well uh, so we can get the tan finished. I'm sure the guys are already on the way. Uh, I know Syntax has done it like a bar. And, oh, my God, like a saloon. That is amazing. Uh, so yeah, we have got a lot to, uh, get up to. <laughs> right then. Don't forget to whack a like on it. And, uh, yes, subscribe to everybody, including Sausage Party. And, uh, all that's left me to do is to wave. And see you in the next one.